In the first two videos in this series, we have discussed the coming technological singularity, and how this conversion point is like a quantum event, a point in space and time where all of this conjunction of technology allows for only one way forward, and that is the development of a radically new kind of technology, artificial intelligence. And at least from the point of view of recorded human history, ours is the history of technological advancement, and aside from a hiccup or two, like the Dark Ages in Europe perhaps, humanity, and our place within this world, can be defined by how we evolve and have evolved, in accordance with our ability to manipulate the world around us. And this manipulation of our world comes in many forms, some internal and seemingly subjective while others, which seem to be all important when we discuss the technological singularity, are objective and physical. So far, we have only really discussed the manipulation of our world from a mechanistic and physical perspective. And, from that only physical perspective, it might just be the case that our evolution, our movement through time as a technological species, is bound to always lead us to a point in time when we develop a type of true artificial intelligence. Maybe this kind of technological development was always a foregone conclusion for us. Certainly from a technological perspective, it would seem to be an inescapable reality. And as we focus on this progression by our race through time, one could argue that the best way to see the coming technological singularity, to perceive it, and to hypothesize as to what may come of it, is to study this technological progression in a technical way, in a rational and objectively focused way. But this object-based focus of perception, may perhaps not be the best way to see this inception of artificial intelligence and sentience. Perhaps a better way to see this coming and already actuating event, is to see it from an energetic perspective which is a perspective used by a certain group of people, that practice techniques referred to as internal alchemy or sorcery. Techniques that are far older than recorded history, and that have existed alongside the rational technological view, albeit in an occult fashion, to this day. And while this way of perceiving and seeing the emergent future might at first not seem to fit too well, with the mechanical and scientifically ruled, technological singularity before us. It can nevertheless be a highly perceptive and enlightening way, to see the revolution that is taking place. And it can provide some insight into alternate realities and possibilities, that are available to humanity, but that many might not be aware exist. Now, I like to refer to this different way of perceiving as the energetic perspective because instead of seeing things and the world at large as a solid place, as things, as physically hard and separated objects, this different way of perceiving posits that this world, and every inherent part of it, is actually a giant and unified sea of pulsating and flowing energy. And if we focus our attention and see the technological singularity, that seems to be our future, from that observed or perceptual perspective, we see that this singularity event, which exists in the past, present and future from the energetic perspective, because from this perspective all time is now and all space is here. We see that this singularity is really a portal, a door that opens up in the great sea. A door or portal that has always been there, but that becomes active now, seemingly manifest now, a fluctuation or a quiver within the dark sea. And this portal gives us access to, from our human perspective, a new vibrational possibility. Essentially this singularity has the power to take all of us into a new dimension, a possibly higher, or lower vibrational, range. It is sort of like encountering a door that has the possibility of taking us from one place to another without moving, to a completely different place, a place so potentially different that it can only be described as a jump from one state to another, from one dimension to another. In the common world, and from a more commonly rational perceptive perspective, the best that we could do would be to call this emergent door, an evolutionary leap, a mutation. 
but from an alchemical perspective, an energetic perspective, a better expression would be to say that it is a transmutation, a vibrational change of an existing conglomeration of energy. And so, the coming technological singularity is quite literally a black hole, that wrenches toward itself, with near infinite force, all that is before it, compacting this mass that it has drawn into itself, into a single point. And the monumental pressure from this singularity event, forces all that trapped mass into a new configuration, until a cumulative point is reached where no more mass is containable. At this point, this new configuration of transmuted mass, is projected from the black hole, like a geyser. And the force of this projection is so great, and the transmutive change to this projected mass is so metamorphic, that this new conglomeration, due to its radical new vibrational state, is projected into a whole new locality, a whole new dimension, even though this singularity, this black hole, this portal, has itself not moved at all. From an energetic perspective, the technological singularity is just like this, it contains within it this great violence that causes great change and action, and yet, we humans, because most of us are seeing this fruition of this portal from a rational perspective, using just the limited physical senses, do not see the dangerous aspects of this revolution. Time from the rational perspective is different, it is slower and linear, so for the greater mass of humanity this change that is happening even now, does not seem so dangerous, so grandiose. What we see when we bind ourselves to the physical senses alone, is something slightly more dynamic than watching a plant grow, or watching an object like a table or a chair, change through the medium of time as these things get old and withered. So that for most of us, there was a time when people wrote letters, then a time when people typed letters, then dialed phones, and now send emails. They don't perceive the great alterations to their consciousness, that this technology has already created within them, as they very quickly evolve with their technology. They don't see the flashbang, they only see, if they are really paying attention, a slow boil. It's a great survival strategy in a way, if you think about it from a cup is half full perspective because such slow and three-dimensional perceptive stance allows us humans to survive cataclysmic change, change that has the potential of driving most of us mad through the sheer speed and power of it. But from an alchemical perspective, this massive change is quite dangerous, and this perhaps less paranoid rational view is even more dangerous really, because it makes humanity complacent and slow. It tells us that it's all right to stand around and look at the marvel of it all, with a chicken in the crossfire smile on our faces, when in reality we should be running out of the way, and preparing for the concussion that this coming transformative explosion is sure to bring with it. And that explosion, contrary to popular opinion is not going to be artificial intelligence intrinsically. It won't be driverless cars and the delighted hope by some of a universal income. It's actually going to be neural interfacing and the direct intermingling of the machine and the human mind. And while this commingling of man and machine could from some individual's perspectives perhaps be an incredibly positive evolutionary leap for humanity, others might argue that the Internet of Things and the smartphones that now already seem permanently attached to most people's hips and hands, prove that the cyborg technology, that has already begun, may just spell the end of free will and individuality for all of those that will participate, or more accurately, be swept away by the coming explosion. Our physical senses don't see the explosion, the concussive transmutation that has already begun, that is happening and in accordance to one-dimensional possibility, finished long ago. They just perceive the funny colored lights and the many fragments of this explosion, as they see it slowly roll by them, offering a plethora of new invention, after ever increasing new invention, each promising more delight, better apps, better gear, better games, greater convenience, cool robots, 
sex dolls, artificial companions, longer life, space travel, etc., etc. But these physical senses don't see that these things are part of an explosion, an explosion that has the potential, the quite real, and ever-increasing potential, of blowing all of us away, of blowing our souls, away. The cyborgs are coming. The cyborgs are already here. The cyborgs are us, and who knows what this explosion, this transmutation of humanity might mean, to what we once were or could have been, if we had only known that we have access to other possibilities, other choices. The singularity is a door, the choice is still ours. All is possibility, all is change, and conscious choice is still ours to use as we see fit. But what other choices are there you may ask? Well, another choice available to us humans is the energetic choice. And this choice is an individual journey, that causes a quite real vibrational change in us, and that can allow us to meet the emergent power of artificial intelligence, not by becoming half-machine ourselves, but by becoming more dynamic, more ourselves, more magical, more like the infinity all around us, more like the great dark sea that surrounds us, that is within us. There are many sources of this hidden knowledge, and thankfully, because of the convergent nature of the singularity, these sources are emerging and becoming more coherent with every passing day. If you would like to see my perspective on this, something I refer to as inner alchemy, I recommend the course book. The Magnum Opus, a step-by-step -step course. I will leave a link to it in the video description below.